Peace fam, how are you? Hope all is well. I know it's been a while and I'm still busy, but I wanted to come in and um, build a little bit about this. So John Lewis is dead at the age of 80, right? Um, and personally, I have mixed feelings, right? Because we got to look at the role John Lewis played uh, civil rights. We'll give him that respect. We'll give him the respect for civil rights. However, look at our condition from civil rights until now. And I think about the role he played. Do you remember we not so long ago, he was caping for these immigrants uh, in uh, trying to make them legal. Uh, no different than Joe Biden and Clyburn, right? Uh, but still wasn't doing anything for his own people. So a lot of these people have sold us out, uh, you know, since the civil rights era. So um, I don't know, you know, um, I respect him. Peace be upon him. However, it's now it's time. It's out with the old and with the new. And it is what it is. Um, he won't be alone. He won't be alone um, in this journey, but you know, um, this this is the era of change. You know, we we dealing with the new world order here, and um, a lot of them, you know, they they have to um, move on to the next world, and um, those who are fighting for our freedom, justice, and equality the right way now. Uh, it's going to make shit happen. Also, I'm going to come back later, probably tomorrow, and build about this fake reparations for Asheville, North Carolina. Um, I really am just looking at this crap like they really think we plan, but um, we don't want any state tangibles. You know what I mean? We don't want this symbolic uh, equality shit. It's not about equality. We want our checks, right? So, um, you know, we'll let them play this game for now, but... Um, you know, we got our chances to move on the chessboard as well. It's nothing changed. Um, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. It's late, and um, I'm up still doing mass. I've been doing mass like crazy. Um, so um, I'm going to continue because I have somebody coming uh, early in the morning to pick up their mass. And then I'm doing head wrap sets. I'm doing a lot of things. I've been into a lot of things. Plus, you know, with the thing going on with my grandson. But, oh, yeah, to, I'm doing an uh, uh, update on that. He's doing well. Uh, my son is here. He's getting ready to take him back with him, you know, um, which, uh, you know, if he didn't do that, I definitely would have stepped in and took action because I'm not having that shit. Um... But those are things I wanted to touch on. John Lewis dead at the age of 80. Do I really care? Uh, to be honest, I respect, like I said, his role in civil rights. But, you know, he's been letting the white man whip his ass from the age of 18 all the way up to 80. You know what I mean? And uh, like Donald Trump said about, um, what's his name? John McCain. You, you, you not a war hero. You got caught not really a civil rights activist to these youths because they watch you get your ass whipped out over and over again and no change and this this you know this um toupee uh head broad right here i can't stand a joy reed so um i know our goal moving forward because what i noticed too is like a lot of these immigrants right now think they slick they think when we say that you know we want our place and position uh in this country right again that that means that they're still going to be in their positions but that's not going to happen i predict in another two years joy Reid to be out of the way the black caucus and all this other foolishness because these people uh have been eating off our plates just a little bit too long and now all of a sudden everything is black lives matter also with her you know with um she jumped her mouth you know she jumped in um in the shit with Nick Cannon and this bitch, you know, you ain't got no, you you don't have no room to talk, right? Cause you know she got hand handlers too with the with these with these um 
with these devils, right? So uh, she was talking about how he was calling people um, anti-Semitic, but you didn't say anything when you were calling Ados Russian bots, right? So um, we ain't going. We we're not going to forget about. Uh, her and her foolishness either and she really think we died down on people like her and all the focus now is on black lives matter yeah black american lives matter right about now and all these immigrants and all these other people who keep trying to inject themselves in our business is going to find out the hard way sooner or later uh with that yeah with nick cannon huh, once again you know um, I was taught false knowledge can be dangerous, right? So when you don't have the proper knowledge and you don't have the proper history um, to speak on certain subjects, then it, it is best that you be quiet, you know, especially if you're working for these devils and you can't, um, that's your bread and butter, you know. Um, with him, he made the fatal mistake of being breastfed by the devils. You know, you can't do that and then come out and speak on them like that. Think everything is going to be cool. Um, but that should be a wake up call for him and all of these uh, ten percent blood suckers who's been uh, eaten high off the hog by selling us out in certain ways anyway. So it is what it is with Nick Cannon. Um, you know, I was with him until he uh, went back and backtrack. You know, you got to be a man of your word. Your man, your, your word should be your bond. And if you go, you know, I and mean, if it's not, you know, sometimes the penalty is death. You know, now he's talking about he need to go to another planet or whatever. I thought he was on another planet with that hat wrap. But you know that that shit my grandmother used to wear on, on his head all, all the time. I don't know, but um. Yeah, it's a lot of topics we got to uh, touch bases on. But I get some time, and um, um, hopefully I'll get back with you guys and build, um, start doing my Sunday wrap-ups again. We'll see. That being said, keep your vibrations high, and I'm out. Peace.